Hello, and welcome to Wednesday Night Out with your host, Joseph, Turnpike Plaza, 365, Rec Squad. We will be reading Renewal, Nourishing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul, The Portable Seven Habits, Franklin Kobe. So, the spiritual dimension is your core, your center, your commitment to your value system. It's a very private area of life. And a supremely important one, it draws upon the sources that inspire and uplift you and tie you to the timeless truths of all humanity. If you win the battles there, if you settle the issues that inwardly conflict, you feel a sense of peace, a sense of knowing what you're about. Stephen R. Covey. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. The source was never, the soul was never put in the body to stand still. John Webster. You are only as powerful as that for which you stand. Do you stand for more money in the bank and a bigger house? Do you stand for an attractive mate? Do you stand for imposing your way of thinking upon others? These are stands of the personality seeking to satisfy its wants. Do you stand for perfection, for the beauty and compassion of the soul? Do you stand for forgiveness and humbleness? These are the stands of the position of a truly powerful personality. Maybe you've been wandering around and thinking, there has got to be some kind of level of meaning which exists in other people's lives, which has somehow never revealed itself to me. I see it on their faces. I know that something is there. But I cannot put my finger on it. Okay, you aren't really going to like this. But you know that week you had the flu back in fourth grade and you came back and everyone seemed different to you? That week your entire class was taken to see an Indian mystic and he completely explained the whole shebang to them and afterwards they got to have ice cream. Stephanie Brush. Even a thought, even a personality can shatter and transform us. Friedrich Nazi. What are you committed to? Safety is the most unsafe spiritual path you can take. Safety keeps you numb and dead. People are caught by surprise when it is time to die. They allow they have allowed themselves to live so little. Stephen Levine. What is your unique purpose on this earth? Check the items to which you can truthfully answer yes. I have defined what I value and believe. I plan and live my life accordingly. I have created my own mission statement. I rely on it to give vision to my purpose in life. I find daily renewal through meditation, prayer, study, and ref- or reflection. I frequently spend time in nature, a synagogue, a chapel, a temple, 
or some place where I find spiritual renewal. I keep my heart open to truth. I am able to take a stand or tell the truth, even when opposed by others. I frequently serve others with no expectations of any type of returned favor. I can identify which things in life I can change and which things I cannot. I let go of the things I cannot change. I can connect to inspirational guidance as needed. Almost any intense emotion may open our inward eye to the beauty of reality. Falling in love appears to do it for some people. The beauties of nature or the exhilaration of artistic creation does it for others. Probably any high experience may momentarily stretch our souls up on tiptoe so that we catch a glimpse of that marvelous beauty which is always there, but which we are not often tall enough to perceive. Margaret Prescott Montage. Be patient with yourself. Self-growth is tender. It's holy ground. Stephen R. Covey. The simple fact remains that the stronger and more radiant we are, the more we can serve as a positive influence in the world. The more happiness we bring into the world, the better it is for everyone. Happiness or love serves as a master key to open every doorway to social progress. Happy people create happiness. It's the most contagious energy on earth. Dan Melman. This completes the reading segment of Renewal, Nourishing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. Franklin Corway, The Portable Habits. I definitely recommend it for a read. I definitely do not recommend it to be read in one day. I, I recommend that you read it one chapter a day, at least three times a week until it's complete. That way you can really digest what's in these short chapters, but very meaningful chapters. It's questions as well as um, statements. But all can be asked to yourself to register in a whole. Renewal. Nourishing body, mind, heart, and soul, the portable seven habits, Franklin Covey. Pick you up a copy. Turnpike Plaza, 365 Red Squad.